Check it. What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we are here for the April edition of Community Showcase Four months into 2016 and we have seen tons of amazing cars and I'm sure today will be no different Now before we go ahead and get into all of the all of the entries this month I do want to say there was a ton of entries which I didn't manage to get in Simply for the basic reason they didn't put proof of designer ownership basically So if you guys didn't already know for needs to be 2015 you can now share all of your vinyls on the marketplace essentially if you didn't put proof that you own your design in um, the, the the form which I link down every single time down below um, then basically y your car is not gonna get in it's literally just a simple picture like this uh, and that will allow you to get in if you don't put that in if you literally just say I own this design that doesn't mean anything you know you've, re you've really got to prove it you know it's not what you can say it's what you can prove so and um, with that being said um, um, I don't I, I hate to start on a bit of a down note But it was a bit annoying when I was going through and literally there was like at least six people who didn't include the proof of ownership for Need for Speed 2015 designs so with that being said just please do that next time and you'll be sure to go ahead and get it be, be in the next month of a community showcase but without further ado let's get straight in to this month's community showcase so the first design of this month comes from Huggable Virus and this is his Salati and oh my good it looks really really nice he's gone for the blue and white colour scheme and generally I think it does work work really nice um, I like how he's made use of the manufacturer manufacturer vinyls and overall it's a very very clean build so thank you for your entry we're gonna go straight on to the next one the next design is from Mirthless and this is his drag build Civic you can tell it's got drag all over it he did actually say in the details of this design that he it was purposely made for drag that's what he was going for and I've got to say it looks freaking awesome I love the gray and black contrast the road to form the big road to form vinyl as well as as the drag rims at the front and then you got you know the normal rims at the back I think it works really really well reminds me something of Pro Street from Pro Street and I've got to say it's definitely contender for design of the month so thank you very much for the entry we're gonna go straight on to the next one the next entry comes from Olympic Llama and this is his Evo he said he based it after the Hypermax Evo and I literally just googled it and it's literally exactly the same it's amazing I think you've done a very good job considering the HKS logo isn't actually in the game I think you've done a very good job with actually kind of making it look like a real HKS logo So overall, it's a very very nice design very very simple, but at the same time it works very very well So thank you for the entry. We're gonna go straight on to the next one and the next one is Omega's RX-7 and this thing looks gorgeous. He's obviously gone for the kind of Japanese theme with the Japanese rising sun on the side of the door with the blue and the white and the red. Very, very mixed colour scheme. I don't usually see blue, white and red and obviously with the black rims. Don't usually see that in a lot of cars. So it's something new, something interesting. And I think that kind of tree with the rising sun works really, really well on that door panel. So um, thank you very much for the entry. It's a very, very nice nice car and we're gonna go straight on to the next one and the next design comes from your boy still NFS and this is his DC5 obviously from Need for Speed 2015 he's gone for the red and white color screen scheme obviously kind of with that dark red looks really really kind of like bloody looks like blood almost um but looks really really nice I like how he's gone for that track build look it looks like a real race car and you know it really suits the DC5 I like how he's made use of the uh, super promotion um dragon on the side looks really really nice so thank you for your entry we're gonna go on to the next one the next design comes from the rising PGM and this is his fast and furious 7 based um, Subaru I was about to say Supra then <laughs> yeah this is his fast and furious based Impreza basically it's a uh, it's a kind of a recreation of the one that Paul Walker drove and that's what he said he tried to replicate and I've got to say it looks pretty goddamn nice it's one of the cars I don't really remember from the fast and furious series in all honesty but I really like the, the the way the rims suit complement the car. It's just a simple design, really. It's nothing outlandish like the the, the, the Supra was from Fast and Furious One or like DK's you know 350Z was. It's nice and simple, you know, nice and just classic really so and um, thank you for the design we're gonna go straight on to the next one next up we have Tyus's r32 on need for speed world mixing it up with this entry i believe this is one of the very few entries which isn't need for speed 2015 but anyway this is his midnight purple ish r32 very 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 very, very simple design again but it's an r32 you got you know when you see an r32 on community showcase i'm gonna like it the only thing which I'm a bit like, whoa, 
about is is the the, the the rim color I'm not sure about that rim color but besides that it's a stock R32 you know with the side skirt design a few things here and there and overall it still looks beautiful so thank you very much for the entry we're gonna go straight on to the next one so the next design it's probably the weirdest it's a Yoda Bay Supra from Vesti this thing is absurd look at it it's a Supra based Yoda thing I a 10 out of 10 for originality I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in like any I don't think I've seen anything like this anywhere so it's definitely up there for, for, for design of the month to be honest I've never seen anything like that and it's actually really well made like that's the funny thing about it we can joke about it but it's actually genuinely really well made so thank you for the design definitely something a bit different uh, we're gonna go on to the next one and the next design is from Wata and this is his Miata the answer is always Miata and this is definitely the case with this car he's obviously gone for the red and black a very very good color scheme I feel like red and black Black goes really well with basically everything so he's obviously gone with a wise color choice and then he's gone ahead and added those schools and generally it's just a very clean MX-5 obviously the back is full-on black he got that black booty and uh, overall I've got to say it's a very very clean build so thank you for sending in your entry we're gonna go straight on to the next one the next design comes from Win3 Apollo and it looks like this is a drift build a 86 he's gone for that light purple almost pink um, color up for the bumpers and the arches and stuff and then he's obviously gone for the silver and the black for the decals and the body and it works very very well obviously taking these photos up in the mountains just where the AEA E6 belongs I really really like how it looks it looks like a full on drift missile with those taped headlights and you know just the way the body has been painted it just generally looks like a drift car so very very nice build obviously got those red Brembos on the back which duh why wouldn't you put red Brembos on a car <laughs> But with that being said, we're going to go straight on to the next one. The next design comes from Avatar Sage 248. And again, another contender for design of the month. This thing is absolutely beautiful. It's an RWB Porsche. And it's got that black and white color scheme with those Zilla stickers all over. I think they, they might not be Zilla stickers. They might be something else. But it looks really, really nice. I've got to say, I just... I think it's just really, really clean. It's consistent, clean, and it's really, really strange how black and white works this well on a, clock, on a car. So, overall, I really, really like this design. And again, it's another contender for design of the month. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the last few picture entries. This entry is from Fost, and this is his Evo. The picture was kind of messed up when it was sent to me, so I had to do some stuff in post to make it look better. So that's why it does look a bit weird. But overall, this car is very, very interesting. It's not something I would personally build. It looks like a lot of ketchup and mustard. But the rear, the rear looks really, really nice. He's put the license plate as Satan, which makes me think this is a Satan car. Which, again, it kind of reduces my hope in humanity, to be honest. But with that being said, we're going to go straight on to the last photo for this month from Liam. And this is his GT86 BRZ FRS thing. And... It looks really nice. I think it looks really, really nice. He's gone for that rust look everywhere. And surprisingly enough, on an 8.6, like, it actually works. So, thank you to everyone who sent in their picture entries. Now, we're going to go on to all the videos. And, oh my god, we're only nine minutes in. And that's not even half. Like, that's not even half. So... Let's get straight into the video entries. Now, I am going to have to speak quite fast through some of these as the clips given to me weren't that long or a lot of the clips just weren't usable. So, um, I just want to warn you guys before we get straight into this. But anyway, the first design comes from Axelson26 and this is his Evo again from Need for Speed 2015. I believe all of these entries are from Need for Speed 2015. And he's obviously gone for that black silver combo with the Toyo tyres and the Njugu Racing logo on the side and I've got to say it looks really, really nice very very simple once again but works very very well and just generally looks like a very very nice race car so thank you for the entry we're gonna go straight on to the next one which again is design of the month worthy it's Barra's M3 GTR and this thing looks insane it was another one of those cars which when I first saw I was like whoa 
This is ridiculous, and I, st I still think this is absolutely absurd. The red and black colour scheme along with the tyres and just how, how everything complements each other. It's just a really nice car. Thank you for the entry. Now we're going to go on to the next one from Hayu Roku King, and this is his Toyo 240SX. Now, I can't really talk about this car for an awful long time because the clips given to me weren't long, but I think, you know, it pretty much says it itself. It's pretty, it's just awesome. It's literally a replica of what I had imagined would be the Toyo drifting car that's in like a, a, a Formula D. So overall, really nice car. Thank you for the entry. We're gonna go on to the next one here, which is from HDR. And this is his S14 from Need for Speed World. Again, another simple livery, nothing too absurd. Basically all it is, it's another race build. That's what it looks like to me at least. It looks like a bit of a missile as well with that sense putting it in there. But overall, it's a very nice design. Thank you for the entry. Now we're going to go on to the next one which is from Jazz and this is his Drifting Hurricane and I've got to say, again, another a pretty um, awesome design. Obviously gone for that grey, black and then the kind of chromey look which I think a lot of people do use on Hurricanes. I know I've used it and I think GTA Wise Guy has used it. I might be wrong on that one but anyway, it's besides the point, it looks freaking awesome and I've got to say again, another amazing design this month. Now we're going to go on to the next one from Joe Apo and this is his hot rod and again another amazing design it genuine genuinely looks like a full-fledged hot rod and well the colors work well the rims work well the body parts work well everything complements each other well and you know I think that speaks volumes for the car. So now we're going to go on to the next design from Nixta9781. And this is his R34. And again, another amazing design. Just look at it. It looks so clean and everything works well. And, you know, I haven't seen an R34 that looks this nice with the body kit on it. Just gen genuinely look that nice. So thank you for the entry. Now we're going to go on to the last two entries of this month. The first one is from Ted. It's another R34. No, he didn't give me a user and username or anything it was literally just Ted so I'm sorry if you actually ha you have got a name and I've missed it but all I saw was Ted so um, with that being said this is his R34 and again another clean design um, nothing too outlandish to it it's very simple to the point and you know maybe that's the reason why it does look so nice is because it is so simple but anyway with that being said thank you for the entry we're gonna go on to the last one for this month from Venomous FD and I've got to speak really quickly here because this clip was literally like five seconds very very nice car I can't really speak about it too much because it's literally three seconds worth of clips <gasps> that was the end of this month's entries i hope you guys enjoyed this month's community showcase but we're not done yet we are not done till we crown a king of this month the king of the community showcase entries we need to pick a design of the month and honestly this month has been the hardest there's been so many good designs that i could list off from this month that have been worthy of design of the month and it's taken a lot of thought it's taken a lot of effort, but the winner of the April edition of Community Showcase is... It's Mirthless's Civic. There was a few contenders for it, not gonna lie. There was at least five or six cars which I was like, oh, should I give it to this, this or this? And after a lot of debating, it was Mirthless's Civic. I've never seen a, a drag build like this being being sent into a community showcase in the in my in the recent history, obviously that that we've had the series going. Uh, we probably have been sent something like this in the early days, but you know, as far as I know, there's been really nothing like this. So you know, 10 out of 10 points for originality. Could have gave it to the Yoda car, but I thought instead I'd actually give it to the Civic. Uh, no, seriously, there was a few really good entries but Mirthless's Civic was just amazing. So, you know, that doesn't take away from any of the other entries that have been submitted, all of them you know, most of them have been amazing. Um, you know, there's there's so many cars which I could name which deserve design of the month, but I can only give it one, sadly, uh, and I decided to give it to Mirthless this week. But don't worry, next month, there's gonna be another episode of Community Showcase, just like every other month. It's, it's, it's usually the first Sunday of every month, so if you wanna go ahead and get your um, entries in for next month, go ahead and leave it down in the form link down below in the description. That's where you can enter your cars there'll be a big you know link and it'll be like well it won't be big it'll be really small but there'll be a link and it'll be like enter your designs here click on that fill out the form and you can go ahead and feature in next month community showcase so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like subscribe i will see you guys in the next one you guys have been awesome stay safe and peace